Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here, and in this episode of the Automation Minute, we're going to take a look at the 1756EN2TR, an Ethernet module for the Control Logic system. So if I grab it here, I'm going to take a look at it. The first thing you'll note, these newer modules from Rocco all have a USB port, and that's great, and it's a lot like what you'll find on the L7 series of processors and some of the newer uh, compact logics. That allows you not only to set up this module, but you can get to everything else in the backplane. If there's any other communication modules in the backplane, you can get on, out on those networks, which is really cool. Um, but this is the USB port. It's plug and play. As long as you don't have an, an ancient version of RS links, it'll automatically find it and add it. You don't even have to configure drivers. It's awesome. Um, that said, uh, you can see here at the top, it says Ethernet IP. This is a uh, EN2TR. So it says that it's a two port DLR model. So it gives you a little bit more information. We can see the status display here. Tell you if you have, uh, if you're doing boot P, it'll tell you uh, what the MAC address is. If you have an IP uh, address conflict, it'll tell you that. It'll scroll the actual IP address across it, which is extremely helpful. If you're serving a, servicing a piece of equipment you haven't used in a while or, you know, or is new to you. It also has a one, two and okay LED indicator. And then there's no door here. If we look at the bottom, because this is an EN2TR, the R indicates it has two ports. Now, both these ports have the same exact IP address. This is a two port mini switch. So it's like a little switch. One IP address, one MAC address, two ports. And um, you can either daisy chain, come in one and go out the other, or you can use this as part of a DLR, um, device level ring network. But uh, that's important. A lot of people think they can do two different IP addresses on there. You can't. Um, let's take a look at the label here real quick. And here on the label, you can see 1756EN2TR. You can see it's a Series B. You can see the firmware it came from the factory with. You can see more information about it. You can see um, the date code here, when it was manufactured, and other information. And then on the other side, unlike the ENBT, this unit actually has uh, switches, so you can choose the last octet. So if you want to standardize on 192.168.1.something, uh, let's say you're an OEM making the same machine over and over again, then this makes it very easy just to dial in the right Ethernet address and put it into the chassis. Now, if you also, if you need to reset the module for any reason, you could dial in 888 and then reset it. And then um, what most people do, though, is uh, I usually put mine at 999, and that allows you to give it an address via boot P, well, what I like to do is I like to go through the US, uh, the USB port and just set up the address for whatever I need it to be. So uh, you'll see that there. And then, of course, those switches are here at the top. You can see them right there. And that's it for the uh, 1756 EN2TR. 